Okay, so we're still in Autodesk Inventor 2020. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the patterning, 2D patterning. Okay, so we're gonna go to our part file. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna be making a toothbrush, okay, or a hairbrush. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do a hairbrush. Um, and it, it, you're gonna be like, wow, why are you doing a brush? That's kind of an odd thing to do. Um, but you'll see why in just a second, okay? It just, it kind of lends itself to this patterning thing. Um, okay, so we're gonna do a couple of them actually. So, okay, first things first, we need like a, we need a base for our brush, right? So it's gonna be very simple. Okay, so we're gonna do a, uh, it's gonna be three inches by five inches. Okay, and then we're gonna have a handle, and that handle is gonna be uh, it's gonna be giant, it's gonna be eight inches by one inch. Okay, and then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, um, we're actually gonna use the constraints that we were just talking about. Uh, so I'm gonna trim out the middle of it and then we're instead of adding a dimension, we're just going to set the two sides to be equal. So, so basically, I'm going to set this one and this one to be equal. Okay, the two sides, and that's going to automatically center up the thing. Okay, so it's very, very, very simple, right? Okay, um, and I'm going to trim this out again. Notice how I'm forgetting, by the way, to start at the origin, which I shouldn't. Sorry, I, so what ha what just happened there is I tried to trim out the center and it said, hey, you have constraints on the center. So here we go again, whoops. And trim it out again. Oh, it has dimensions on it. Oh, I was just mentioning this before, wasn't I? About the dimension. So my dimensions, it wouldn't let me trim because I had dimensions set on the, on the thing I was trying to do. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove the dimensions for now. And then basically I wanna use that uh, equal, equal constraint to make the two sides equal and kind of line it up. All right, we have the back of our brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish sketch. We're going to extrude. Okay, so we have our very square brush and we're gonna make it 0.5. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead. Now we have a problem, right? So we wanna make the bristles on this brush. And our problem is, is that if I went, if I went in and tried to extrude, you know, 300, 500, 1,000 bristles, it is gonna take me all day long. Okay, so this comes in, this, this is where this patterning tool comes in, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make a sketch on the surface of the brush. Um, we're going to go ahead and project the geometry of the sides of the brush. Basically, you just need, for the rectangular tool, you need um, axes going in, that, like the X, Y, X, and Y directions, right? The horizontal and vertical directions, or whatever two directions you want it to go in. Then we're gonna make um, a circle for the bristle. Okay, this could be any shape. Uh, so we're gonna make a very small circle for the bristle. We're gonna dimension that to be uh, 0.05 inches across. Okay, right click, okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and move the, that up to my upper left hand corner where I want it to be. Then we're gonna go ahead and choose the pattern. So we're ready to pattern. We're gonna click rectangle, rectangular pattern. The geometry is the thing that you want to pattern, okay, that you want to repeat. The direction is, you know, the direction you want it to repeat in. Uh, notice that that's going the wrong way for me. It's going to the left, now it's going to the right. That's what I wanted. Okay, direction two, that's the second direction. Okay, that's going correctly. And notice that it, it, right now it's one inch, okay? Uh, we wanna go ahead and make the, the spacing like 0.2 inches. Okay, and you can see it very faintly here. Uh, let me zoom in. You can see it kind of very faintly. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and make more of them. And we're gonna make them more close together. So 0.1 inch. And then we're gonna make, let's say, I should, I should be able to do the math on this. <laughs> we're gonna make 10 of them. Oh, that's not right. We're gonna make 30 of them. Okay, we're calling 30 correct. Okay, and then we're gonna make 40 down. Oop, we're not there yet. Okay, so we're gonna make 50. Okay, that's about right. All right, now, of course, yours is gonna be much better than mine. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And even though, um, 
so this does take a lot of memory for Inventor. Uh, so expect to wait. You know, I just made a lot, a lot, a lot of shapes there. Um, so let's see how it does. All right. Okay, so there we have it. So we have lots and lots of little circles now. And we're going to go ahead and click Finish. And then we're going to extrude these. We're going to click Extrude. Now, the first time user, once they click Extrude, they'll start to click each one individually. You don't need to do that. Um, what we can do, um, by the way, be patient with Inventor on this type of thing because it's, it's interacting with each one of those circles individually. That's why it takes so long to process. So just kind of wait. If it starts, if you see the, uh, the cursor flashing like this, don't try to keep working. It's just going to cause problems for Inventor. Just let it work itself out, and, and when it kind of settles down, then start working again. For demonstration purposes, I probably should have done something easier. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to highlight all of them. Oh, by the way, I haven't been saving. Um, I've noticed 2020, it could just be me, but I've noticed 2020 has more of a, a tendency to crash than other versions, so I would save quite often. All right, there we go. So I'm going to leave it just 0.5 as is. Click OK. And we have our brush, right? Very, very small bristle of brush. And it's going to take quite a long time. Okay, there we have it. So there's our there's our brush with many, many bristles. Guess what? It's a double-sided brush. Hey, you didn't even know. All right, so, uh, so we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to have bristles on the back. This is for, uh, we want, you know, it's for two people. One person wants a comb, a, a circular comb, interestingly enough, and one person wants bristles. So we're going to go ahead and make a circle again. Uh, this time we're just going to do it kind of right in the center. Um, and we're going to dimension that bristle to be uh, 0.5 again, or 0 0.05 again. And we're going to go ahead and um, uh, we're, we're going to project the geometry just of this point in. You could make a point also. Actually, let's just go ahead and make a point. So we're going to go ahead and make our point here. And we're going to choose the circular pattern this time. The geometry is going to be the um, the circle we just drew. The point is going to be the axis. Okay, and notice that it gives us this the our uh, our preview here. And we're going to make uh, fifty of them around and click OK. So there are our circles. There's our circular pattern finish sketch, and then we're going to go ahead and extrude them just like before, and click and drag, and notice that uh, notice that we have our, uh, our circular pattern in back there. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So that's our circular pattern. The last thing we're going to do here is to mirror. Um, so, uh, so let's go ahead. Let's say that I want a way to, um, let's say I just want a handle at the uh, end. Um, uh, let's see here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead uh, and create another part just to just for mirroring. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create another part, 2D sketch. Okay, and let's say that we have um, a complicated thing that we're drawing. Okay, let's say that we have like an arc uh, that's starting here. Okay, we're drawing something that's kind of like organically shaped, you know. Um, Okay, that would be hard to reproduce, all right? So let's say we have something that looks like this. That would be hard to reproduce. Um, so what we can do with mirror is basically we, we take, choose mirror. We're going to select the things we want to mirror, okay? Choose the mirror line. That's the center line. It can be any, any line. Click on it and then done. And basically whatever lines we chose are going to be mirror. Hmm. That did not work out as expected. Let me try it again. Okay, we're going to select the uh, we're going to select the lines we want to mirror. We're going to select the mirror line. Then we're going to click apply, 
and done. So notice that we went ahead and we made basically an apple shape, right? But, but you see how that would be useful. So in a lot of cases, if you're making you know, something that needs to be identical on both sides, um, but would be, and you don't want to draw it twice, mirroring is a very good way to go about it. Okay, so those are our pattern tools. Uh, and um